2019 paper 2 question 14. Kevin and Julie bought some egg tarts. Each of them spent $61.20. Julie got 6 more egg tarts than Kevin because she used a coupon that gave her a 15% discount. How many egg tarts did Julie get? That's part A. And what was the price of each egg tart without the discount? That would be part B. We will start with Kevin because Kevin uh, bought a certain number of egg tarts and he spent a total of $61.20. That will actually be his 100%. Moving on to Julie, Julie obviously bought what Kevin has bought and this quantity we do not know, however we do know that definitely she would have a discount. So with a 15% discount, for this same quantity she would actually only pay 85%. Now for 85%, it will definitely be less than $61.20 but we know in the question that she did pay $61.20 okay which means she actually has to buy some more in the question we are told that she bought six more so this extra six tarts must account for the missing 15% okay now we know the 85% and the 15% will add up to 100% which is the $61.20 that Julie paid. From the diagram, you will know that we do have a match. 15% is actually matched to 6 tarts. And if 15% is 6 tarts, we can actually find 1%. All we need to do is divide by 15. So I will end up with 6 out of 15 tarts. We do not need to solve for this, we just leave it alone first because what I'm interested in is to solve for 100% for Julie. So from 1% to find 100%, I need to multiply by 100. So 6 out of 15 multiplied by 100, that will get us 40 tarts. Moving on to part B. Since we want to calculate the price of the egg tart without the discount, we should calculate based on Kevin's $61.20. But Kevin did not have 40 tarts. Kevin actually has 40 minus 6, which is 34 tarts. So the price of each tart, all we need to do is take $61.20 and divide by 34. That will get us $1.80. Thank you.